um, because even our wells were winding up with turbidity. I believe that's true. Okay. And part of the reason we don't have as much money in the water fund as we could is because we've made the decision, at least two years running, to have water conservation and not address the reduction in revenue by addressing our rates. So we can all look in a mirror and say, gee, I know how we got here. This is not good, but we did it anyway. So, To meet our peak summer demand, how many uh, new sources do we need? Uh, one is what we're looking for right now. And that will do it for the time being? That will do Even it. with build out, or will we be having to look for more sources? I think ultimately, I, I don't know exactly what the projection of build out is and how that, but that, that's our, our immediate needs. If the rainy is degrading so radically and so quickly, was our investment of some three million in the new ponds at the water treatment plant a a good deal for the city? If it seems like we're we're moving almost entirely towards new wells, I think it was a good investment. Yes. Is there further discussion before we go to public comment? Uh, I have a feeling several people in the here will like to comment on this issue. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Further council discussion or direction? Council Member Crane. There is a firm, um, I think I gave the, the name of the firm to city manager. Uh, that has expressed an interest. They do well development. They do um, boring work, soil sampling work. They've offered uh, a no charge discussion with staff and council if we chose, or members of council. They've made this offer to, uh, to try and be helpful to continue our educations about the possibilities. Uh, for, for techniques, for determining what we may have, uh, and for evaluating the geology. Uh, I would hope that we would in, at least engage them in a discussion and see if we can learn from them uh, some useful information about how to proceed. Would you be interested in, in it simply agendizing that item for the council to hear a presentation? Uh, I'm willing. I don't know. What are staff's thoughts? Uh, city manager, what are your thoughts? Well, I think certainly at staff level, we could talk with this group. The, the reason this item was brought back is that we want to be sure that we're proceeding in a way that's consistent with the council's understanding of how we were going to undertake looking at these wells. And the Gobi site became available after, I believe, your last conversation on this item. So that's why we want to be sure that we're proceeding carefully. But um, I'd be happy to talk with the group and, and have staff discuss it and make sure that this recommendation is based on our, um, our staff's recommendation as, as the best way to proceed with the funding that we have. So it, it isn't the only way we can proceed. Council Member Thomas. Um, Mr. Crane, are you saying that as a, instead of approving the staff recommendation for the use of these funds, we should talk to this uh, group that has offered to meet with us instead? It's my belief that the best time to look for water in the ground is not the wet season, but the end of the dry season. Um, we don't move very quickly. It's, it's hard to move quickly. We have rules and requirements and heavy workloads. So this isn't something that's going to be done in the next few days or even a month. So whatever the wet season is will probably be on us. Um, what I think I understand is that the best time to drill a well to understand what we have is at the end of the dry season. So we are 
several months behind the curve now and not yet in a position to do anything. So it seems to me that any evaluation, any whole, should be scheduled for next fall. Now I'm not thrilled about that in terms of how much time it's taken us to get to where we are. Um, checking out the Rani to see if we can utilize it in another fashion is something we can do immediately. Um, that has merit. We're talking about quite a bit of money and we have a very flat revenue stream that's been flat for, I guess, about a decade. And we've got a couple of years of water conservation uh, that we've imposed on ourselves economically. Um, I'm not really thrilled with where we are on, on any of those counts. You know, it's been, what, two years and we still haven't gotten through the, the part that we set out to do. And we haven't, I mean, in terms of addressing the revenue, um, we still don't have an agreement in place on the west side, so we couldn't proceed there yet anyway on, on the Thomas land. Um, I'd, I'd say find out what we can about the Rani, uh, collect information uh, about the possibilities, uh, come to agreement with Thomas so that we could proceed there and get ourselves in position so that next fall we can actually do the drilling for test well or test poor. That's, I think that makes sense. And, and so the, the meeting with this group would take place any time for next fall? Well, I would think it would take place sooner than later right. because they, they, they have a lot of expertise um, that may be of benefit. Staff may review that information and say it's of no value but I have a suspicion that there is some information from them that will be of value to us. Further discussion, uh, Council Member McCowan. Uh, question of Director Erickson, do we, or do you have a concern over uh, if we proceeded along the lines that's being suggested by Council Member Crane, is that set back our timeline for what we hope we can develop? some logic to what he says, we're not really going to know what the yield is until the end of the dry season. No, no, no I don't have a concern about that specifically. I, we're not in a, a panic to go forward quickly. And I would think that we would have the information about the rainy at the close of this rainy season, correct? That's correct. Uh, at some risk, uh, I'm going to see if there's any members of the public who would like to comment at this point in time. Chuck Williams, it just occurred to me that on the, as far as the timeline about drilling a well in August, I agree it's usually the logical time to find out if you've got adequate water there. But in this case, as I understand, you are looking for a well that will have water available in it in the winter. Therefore, are you really concerned what water is in it in the August? Thank you. Further commentary? Council Member Crane. Well, I think we want water summer and winter. We need water for the...